What's up you guys? I'm giving another update because I most certainly feel like we're being attacked again. I really don't know what to make of it. It needs to stop now. Um, for the past five days, we've been at the same spot. I told Xavier I'm not moving anymore. I'm going to stay right here. There's hella foot traffic, people on boat tours. We're right by the Trump. Tons of money in this area. Hotels everywhere. The Gwen is there. Um, there's a million hotels everywhere. Nordstrom is right there. It's just the perfect location for tons of foot traffic. So I, I had a photo shoot here the first night. Um, the second night, I was like incapacitated yesterday, the day before. So sick to my stomach, throwing up nauseous as fuck um again i don't know who was there with the dragging and whatnot if the message is for you you know it's for you um but that was the last day of abuse prior to arriving here now today again it's like they put me back to that day and with that person he's saying the same things lies and accusations that have never been an issue before then after five days of being literally followed to the restroom every time I try to go upstairs and use the restroom, my tummy is so sick. I go up there right now to use the restroom and there are eight to ten people hovering the door talking shit to me through the door while I'm trying to take a shit at a public restroom in Walgreens. as fuck. I wanted to stay down here until law enforcement or the system offered some answers. As you all know, I was raped, beaten, robbed, and abused and thrown out of my home in 2020. And I have been blatantly ignored by the criminal justice system in every way, shape, or form. I have hundreds of police reports on file. Um, so this morning I wake up and, and they just go unaddressed. The police just basically say nothing. Um, they just beat around the bush and they won't address it. You guys have seen, I have hours and hours of footage of me talking to police and them saying the same lies and bullshit and garbage. So some new police officer shows up this morning Yo. talking with such a nasty, disgusting attitude, being such a disgusting fucking foul ass bitch. Well, why don't you go get a fucking job? This is the cop, how the cop's talking to me. I told the cop, well, just so you know, I spend about five to eight hours a day, I'm sorry, a week on LinkedIn applying I have an excellent resume and tons of letters of recommendation. Fucking bitch. Um, and then she hands me this little re resource packet. The exact same packet they gave me in 2019 when they unlawfully threw me out of my home. Sorry, 2020. When they unlawfully threw me out of my home at 2037 West Roscoe. And I've already called every fucking number on there a hundred fucking times. And that's what this piece of shit officer, you want to be living this life. You don't take advantage of the resources people give you. Oh, really, bitch? This spot is for you, ho, okay? I'm gonna take my tent and my clothes, but you can park it right here. Everyone, obstruct her justice. Don't allow her to get a call out. When someone rapes her, everyone pretend like you don't see. You guys like that? You think that's acceptable? I don't think it's acceptable, but it's what you do to me. It's what you do to me every fucking day. Four years of being denied a court date. Four years. Four years of either spending every cent of my paycheck on Airbnb or sleeping outdoors. Four years. Four years of being chased, stalked, harassed. Four years of having my vehicle and all my possessions destroyed. Four years of being held down and raped. Four years. Four fucking years. Still no assistance to this day. So we spent five days here. I literally told Xavier, until they give us a destination to move, I'm not moving. My body can't take it anymore. I have been so abused over the last several years. I cannot take it anymore. I miss my family. I'm concerned about their safety. Everything going on here is corrupt as fuck. Well, I can't take it anymore. Five days of fucking sitting here is making me sick. They're bringing... Now, I want you guys to understand this, okay? The first several days we've been here, I've, I've lived in Chicago most of my adult life. No one really utilizes this anymore. It's mostly, I swear to God to you, since the pandemic, empty. Usually cars don't even drive down here. It's literally empty. Since the pandemic and people stopped working downtown, there is no traffic right here, okay? The first day we were here, the first two days we were here, nothing, not a single car. All of a sudden, they start bringing down five, six semis a day every morning, all pointing their exhaust towards our tent. I'm waking up, throwing up. And they're ha they have five, six fucking trucks a day, all parked right here, 
not loading or unloading anything, just parked there, ignition on, blowing their fucking emissions into the tent. I'm, I'm sick. I'm sick as fuck to my stomach. I'm literally vomiting. Then <coughs> they start making all these obscene noises. Ambulance noises as loud as you can imagine, sirens as loud as you can imagine, horns as loud as you can imagine for five days. So they're depriving of sleep, making me physically ill, and then engaging in numerous different psychological abuse tactics. And still to this day, law enforcement has not gotten involved. I don't have any faith left in this country. 